The reason I'm making this video is because my uncle Scott Mitchell, who came up with the idea for this automatically automatic watering system for his garden, uh, wanted a more detailed explanation for what uh, I had in mind for his idea. And honestly, I couldn't put it to words without drawing pictures and all that. So I figure I'll make a YouTube video out of it, share it with you guys, and uh, see if you guys have any ideas, make it a little better. I, I think my system's pretty good, but that's just my opinion and I haven't really talked to many people about it. This system won't be a timer system like your yard sprinklers, for example. This will measure the amount of moisture in the soil and then turn a valve on depending on whether or not there is enough for the plant within a certain range. And it will use a compa capacitive sensor rather than a direct electrical sensor, which wears away over time. A capacitive sensor will never wear away, which is exactly what I'm looking for. For this project, I will be developing it on a Arduino Uno. And one of the goals I have is to keep this fully expandable. But at the end, if my uncle, Scott Mitchell, who came up with the idea, wants to bring this to market, then he can make a choice to buy me the supplies to build, using the Atmega chip that the Arduino uses, build my own board using the same software as Arduino, since it's open source and easy to use, um, using that software, that chip, and just building my own board, which will serve the purpose of the system at a lower rate than just buying Arduino boards. It'll also make it more compact and more power efficient because I won't have LEDs on the board and so on. So that's one of my end goals and I'll write that on the iPad which I am currently screen recording so you can see what I'm talking about. My number one goal here is expandability. I want these systems to be usable in a series setup. So you hook up a garden hose for example, plug it in, and then you can daisy chain off that first sensor system to power and uh, provide water to the rest of the sensors in your network. Um, complete all in hardware. This should be zero network interactions, so it's as simple as possible to set up for anyone wanting to use it. So that's going to be my number one goal. I want the system to be fully expandable and hopefully relatively cheap. There's only so much I can do for that though. Um, I'm going to use my own circuit boards in the end if my uncle decides to bring this to market. In general, the system should be very simple. There will be three capacitive sensors and one valve to control the flow of water, and the, those will all be electronically controlled. After expandability, I want it to be low power consumption, so I don't want it to just constantly check the uh, soil moisture because doing that would use up a lot of energy and it's not really desirable to just have a constant power draw. So maybe every hour or so I could have it check the soil moisture. So I'm just gonna say low power consumption or just low power. Okay, so with those in mind and the goals of the project being an automatic watering system for someone's garden, here are my ideas. The first thing we have to do is sense the moisture in the soil. Now, this is typically done by two metal posts in the ground on one chip at a known distance apart. A voltage would be applied to one end, and the voltage drop across the two posts would be measured to determine the m moisture content of the soil. Now, this is a great way to do it. However, these posts will wear, wear away over time, and after a couple months, a year, two years, the one of the posts will wear away due to electrolysis, and that's really undesirable. So that idea is really out of the question. During my research, however, I did find another system which uses a similar two-post system at a known distance, but the posts never actually touch the soil. They are covered in an insulating material which keeps the posts and the soil electrically separate so no electrolysis can occur and what it measures instead is the cap capacitance of the soil itself they're therefore measuring the soil 
the moisture content of the soil. So this works really well because these chips or these systems should last much longer. The trouble is sourcing good ones and that'll be its own challenge that I'll probably talk about in a later video. So knowing that, I'm going to use some capacitive sensors for this project. So that's easy enough. But if I want to do something like a planter bed, it can't really just measure one spot in the soil. It will not be an accurate reading because you're going to have some parts of it in the shade, some parts of it in the sun. It's not going to be great. So instead, I think we will use three, and this is just a guess number with no testing behind it. This is just a planning video. Um, so let's say three capacitive sensors and I can take the average on board the computer chip in the control unit and um, average, take the average and based on that decide when to water the plants. So after figuring out the average, I need some way to let water into the plant, uh, the planted area. So I'm going to need some sort of hydraulic valve which is fairly easy and then I'll need some sort of driver for it. So I will have, let's say this is the box, the control box. I will have a hose coming in this side, just like this, and it will pass all the way through this box and come out the other end for this expandability part over here. So the hose will come into the box and somewhere inside there will be a smaller bit here that splits off from the rest of it and then has the control valve here that will control whether or not the water can flow. And then that'll just come out the edge here or something with, and have smaller hoses going out to the actual plants themselves. Um, and then the computer chip can be really small. It'll be my own PCB in the end, not during testing, obviously. So we're going to have my own PCB and out the bottom of the box is going to be some like six pin uh, connectors for each of the sensors and those will just line up to slots on the board. Um, just like this and I might not even do like a six pin connector I might just go ahead and get a nine pin connector because each of the capacitive sensors have three pins and if I plan to use three anyway it would be better to just get all nine on one plug and just have the wires long uh, or at least that's the thought process I'll have to think on that one though and then for power I think I'm going to use uh, USB-C but I'm questioning that design choice well that was a terrible drawing but I'm questioning that design choice because it's really not often seen used outside but if I put it under the box, then it really shouldn't face all that much water damage. Um, and I might just have to go with a different connector. But I want power in to the box and going out of the box so I can daisy chain them together and have them all run together. So there would be power in here and then power out on the other side. And then I would just provide the cable and hose with the uh, computer box alongside the sensors so it's an all-in-one package and it can be all daisy chained together because this is going to use very little electricity and very little water i'd probably have a 24 volt uh, dc current running through the um through the main power and then on the printed board or the pcb itself i would have it uh step jesus 24 volt I would have it step down the voltage to say 5 or 3.3 volts so it really wouldn't use all that much electricity and as long as you didn't put too many together in a chain and have them activate at the exact same time there really should be no issue um, but I'll have to do some research on that as well and that's basically the whole idea um, you have complete expandability it would be low power you'd only measure like once an hour for example and the valve would only be open or closed so there really is no need to worry about it constantly just eating up your power 
and that's the basic plan. Uh, I'll be developing on the Arduino Uno and seeing where I can go from there, if this is even feasible, which I'm almost certain it is. And I hope you like the idea. If you have any suggestions, reach out to me, leave it in the comments. I'm willing to hear and I'd love to hear what you have to think. Um, yeah, please comment below if you have any ideas. I would love to make this system as great as possible. I haven't really seen anything like it on the market that's just uh, easy like this. You just plug it in a hose and an electrical connection and you can daisy chain it. And also having it be capable of doing outdoors and not just a single plant, I think is fantastic. Something else I'd really like to do is add in settings for what type of plant you're doing or what type of plant you are, um, you're growing out of the planter. And that might be controlled with like a potentiometer on the outside. Um, so if there was like a power outage, the system wouldn't just reset to a default. It would continuously stay as the set value or I, no, I think the, I think the potentiometer is the best way to go. Yeah, I'll do some testing on that. I could also do like a screen on it, but that would just add a ton of costs that really would be unnecessary and it would make it too complicated. So I think this is the best way to go. I'd just change one variable for how wet the soil should be. The sensors would check against that. Their average, that would be, their average would check against that. If it's greater than, if the mo moisture is greater than that, don't do anything. If it's equal to that, don't do anything, but if it drops below that within a certain level, like a certain degree, then do something, water the plants, whatever. And that's about it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.